Hey guys, it's Rainbow back with a two in one video type video. I'm gonna be doing things differently uh, right now. As you guys know, tonight is the 2016 Royal Rumble, and uh, you know, I do like to do the preview videos like for big four pay per views, so I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do one for uh, I'm gonna combine these two videos, okay? I'm going to do the Royal Rumble 2015 review to finish my Royal Rumble review series finally and then I'm going to do my 2016 Royal Rumble preview in this one video and why am I telling you this when you already see it in the title I guess I just wanted to like make it official I guess <laughs> so yeah Royal anyway let's get on to it Royal Rumble 2015 uh, very, very controversial pick you, and sorry guys, I, I don't own it on DVD, but I just watched the show, and I gotta say, it was a, it was an okay show overall, okay, it wasn't, I mean, it was okay, it, it was, I mean, it had some, it had a lot of shit on there, especially the main event, which I'll get on to, boy, and, but, you gotta admit, you had a, an amazing triple threat match, and, you know, it, and that, I guess you could, it didn't really save the show, I guess, but, obviously it didn't, but, you gotta admit, just remember the show for that one match, the triple threat match, I can't wait to talk about it, oh my god, um, so yeah, uh, let's get on with this, uh, opening match, we have the ass ascension, uh, versus the New Age Outlaws. This match was just there, really. It was really just to fill up time. I'm sick of seeing the New Age Outlaws in this generation, honestly. They're old, okay? They're retired. Stay retired, okay? We're in a new generation of wrestling now. Deal with it, okay? But this match was just whatever, you know? It was just to, you know, it was just to get the Ascension a big win over, over these guys, you know? And if the New Age Outlaws had won, it would have been pretty pointless, I guess. But whatever. Um, but yeah. But there was still some good moves, I guess. It, but it, the match was just there. Alright? Just there. Um, so yeah. Um, if you see in the description, I gave it half a star. Not a terrible half a star, though. It's like a... I don't really care that much. But I have to give it a rating, you know? So yeah. Uh, next match, we have the WWE Tag Team Championship match. The Usos defending against The Miz and Damian Mizdale. This was actually a really fun uh, tag team match. Uh, you had quite a lot of resiliency from the Uso brothers, which was really cool. Um, you had Miz doing the... What's this? We've got the Skull Crushing Finale. Is it still called the Skull Crushing Finale? Yeah, that's his finisher. He was doing it multiple times. The Usos kept kicking out. Damien Mizdow wanted in, but Miz wouldn't let him. And, uh... You know, it was just a really... Uh, just a really fun match. I mean, nothing spectacular, you know, but... You know, it was just really good. And, uh, the ending... The ending, unfortunately... Miz and Mizdow could not, uh, overcome the Usos. So the Usos won this match and retained the championship. Got on them. Got on them. Uh, those guys are definitely a lot more resilient than they appear to be. So yeah. Um, so that was a really uh, solid match. Definitely worth checking out. Uh, next we have uh, Paige and Natalia versus the Bella Twins. Uh, nothing too bad. It was, uh, I mean, you have, uh, I mean, all four women look hot as hell, as always, but it's not about hotness, it's about the match, and this match, it was, um, surprising, okay, it was surprising because of the ending, and it was because, um, Nikki, uh, Bella actually got the win for the team, yeah, the Bella Twins won, uh, I mean, if you, it looked like Paige and Natalya would definitely win this match, just, just those two names alone, it's like Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins. I mean, easily Brock would destroy Seth Rollins. Do you know what I mean? But, you know, and especially uh, Natalia taking the pin. 
that was just wow I didn't expect that <laughs> but yeah the match was not bad at all but it was just there it was still just there basically um, so yeah but yeah nothing too uh, too much to talk about there so yeah yeah, uh, Nikki got the win with the forearm splash. Just so you know. All right, all right. Then we have the next match, uh, the match that everyone needs to see. Triple threat match for the WWE World of Weight Championship. Brock Lesnar defending against John Cena and Seth Rollins. This is one of the greatest matches of all time, guys. Uh, I would call it the best match of 2015 by far. Probably the best match of Brock Lesnar's career. John Cena's second best match ever. Seth Rollins' best WWE match ever. This match was just holy mother of Jesus. There was just so much. Just everything. This is this is probably my third or second favorite triple threat match of all time. Um, I'm kind of mixed between this and the WrestleMania 20 triple threat match. Uh, but my number one favorite triple threat match is um, the unbreakable 2005 triple threat match, definitely. You know, AJ Styles, um, Samoa Joe and Christopher Daniels, that's my number one favorite triple threat match, and that's in TNA. This is probably my third, second or third favorite triple threat match ever. And holy moly, was this a, what a match this was. You had Brock Lesnar just destroying everyone, basically, whenever he had the chance. You had Seth Rollins doing a whole bunch of epic moves. Uh, you had John Cena even doing some awesome stuff. And, you know, there was a part in the match when it got to John Cena and Seth Rollins one-on-one -on -one for a while. That was amazing. And, oh my god, you had j, &J Security come in trying to attack, trying to help out Seth Rollins with Brock Lesnar. Uh, German, both of them at the same time, literally, basically. You had the barricade spot, John Cena charging towards Brock Lesnar, doing the barricade spot. That was awesome. And Seth Rollins doing the elbow drop onto Brock Lesnar on the announce table. That was just insane. Just everything about this match was just perfect. Oh my god. And it was just so much fun to watch. And there were times when you thought the match was over, but either the wrestler kicked out, or or the count the count was stopped by another by a third participant. That was just insane. You, wow, just amazing. I'm calling this the second best Royal Rumble undercard match of all time. Okay. First being Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit from 2003. Um, but this was just an amazing, amazing triple threat match. You have to watch it, guys, if you haven't seen it already. Watch it in full, not the highlights, even though the highlights are awesome. Just what a match. What a match. Definitely, I would say, the best match since since John Cena, CM Punk from Money in the Bank 2011. I'd, I'd go that far. Yes, I yes, I'd say this is it. I think this match is better than the Undertaker Triple H Hell in Cell from WrestleMania 28. Okay, yeah, I said it. Okay, just check it out. All right, and yeah, and you had the epic ending. Uh, yeah, oh, some other stuff that happened in the match. Seth Rollins doing the Phoenix Splash. That was awesome. Some steel step stuff. When I finish talking about this match, I'll probably forget a few spots, but. Yeah, forget to mention a few spots, I mean, just check it out, alright, just epic stuff, epic, epic stuff, and oh yeah, the ending, um, uh, Seth Rollins uh, did a, like a leap off of a rope, and he and Brock goes the corner with the F5, uh, that was a cool spot. Uh, but that that's not actually how it ended. How it ended was, um, I think Seth, Seth Rollins was trying to attack Brock Lesnar with the briefcase, you know, because he was Mr. Money in the Bank at the time. And, um, but then Brock Lesnar picked them up and F5'd them for the victory. Just epic, epic stuff here, guys. 
but sadly that won't be rem this sadly this show won't be remembered for this epic triple threat match guys it's, it's going to be remembered for the very controversial Royal Rumble match now we'll talk about that okay the first uh the first like bit of the match was really good I thought you had some entertaining stuff here and there when Adam Rose came in and uh, Kofi Kingston was thrown out the Rosebuds caught him but then Kofi eliminated Adam Rose and then when Kofi was thrown out again the Rosebuds didn't catch him well they weren't even there but yeah that was just that was a cool part and uh, what else um, see so yeah, the match had some okay stuff other stuff that was just one cool spot I was mentioning uh, but Daniel Bryan comes in at number 10 the audience goes ballistic but in a good way like they were going they were cheering out for Daniel Bryan and he only lasts like 10 minutes gets eliminated by Bray Wyatt everyone booing like crazy and they were just they just lost interest in the show basically in the rest of the show basically you know and they were pretty much silenced for the they were pretty much silenced for the rest of the match and if they weren't silent they were booing okay so yeah uh, what else uh, so yeah then eventually Roman Reigns comes in at number 19 and the audience hammers him like they are just merciless with Roman Reigns they are booing him like crazy and um, just a whole bunch of whatever happened the match was the the once Daniel Bryan was limited the the mood was dead okay the you it was so difficult to pretty much watch just watch the rest of the match basically that's how thing up it was but yeah uh, and uh, oh yeah I, I guess I could mention some surprise participants the boogeyman Diamond Dallas Page uh, Bubba Ray Dudley yeah and uh, what else uh, yeah the, let's just skip to the ending uh, Kane and Big Show got eliminated at the same time by Roman Reigns it looked like Roman Reigns had won the Royal Rumble match already, but um, but uh, Kane and Big Show came back in, all but hurt, you know. Then uh, The Rock comes out, it is a man to help out Roman and uh, beat up Big Show and Kane and stop them from attacking Roman, basically. And then Rusev, Rusev comes out from under the ring, basically. He was never eliminated. I guess he was thrown under the rope or something, or whatever. But um, then he comes in, tips to attack Roman. Roman gives him the spear. The, the audience is booing. They were cheering at first because Bruce Hill was about to win. It looked like. Then Roman Reigns just picks him up, throws him out. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? Roman Reigns wins the 2015 Royal Rumble match, and the audience is livid. Everyone on line is livid. Cancel WWE Network was the top trending thing on Twitter, and if I don't recall, um, oh wait, what's I gonna say? Um, Say. Yeah, the WWE Network servers ended up uh, getting uh, messed up, you know, like, uh, what's the word, Cor corrupting, corrupting or whatever, or oh, not corrupting, yeah, I'm, I'm, what's the word, um, crashed, that's it, crashed, yeah, the WWE Network page crashed because there were so many people, um, trying to cancel at the same time that was pretty insane to hear about that I just heard about that today guys I, I searched it up on Wikipedia yeah that was just insane and uh, yeah so uh, hopefully WWE uh, 
won't make the, third, the same mistake three times in a row with, with the audience, you know. I mean, some people weren't too upset about it, such as myself, but, uh, yeah. So, um, I guess I talked about everything about the show, basically. So, yep, yeah, um, that was my review of Royal Rumble 2015, guys. Now, I did say this was going to be a double video, so now I'm going to do Royal Rumble 2016 preview. I'm going to do this as fast as I can. If you look in the description, you'll see my star ratings for uh, Royal Rumble 2015, and you'll also see the Royal Rumble 2016 match card. So, yeah. Anyway, I guess we'll start off. I'm, I'm just going to run through each match. Uh, give my quick thoughts on them, like 10 second thoughts, I guess, um, and say who I think will win the match. So, yeah. Uh, we got the pre. Uh, actually, no, I'll talk about the Royal Rumble uh, PB first. Uh, I do think it looks like a great show. Definitely the looks like the best Royal Rumble show in a long time. Maybe not a long time, probably since. Definitely at least since 2013. Okay. Uh, I do think. WWE would do something right with this pay-per-view. Um, I have faith. We all have faith. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to the show. Can't wait to watch it tonight. Um, and I'll be reviewing it with my boy, WWE Fader 599, so don't forget that. See so, yeah. uh, Opening match, well not the opening match, but the pre-show match. Uh, Darren Young and Damian Sandow versus Dudley Boys. The Ascension and Mark Henry and Jack Swagger. Now, obviously, this is the most random <laughs> tag team match in history. You could tell they were just throwing in something, throwing something in the uh, in the uh, pre-show. You know, they they need a pre-show match. You know, and the the winner, the winners actually get two, one spot each in the Royal Rumble match itself. And the only logical winner here is the Dudley Boys. Okay. I mean, I can't see any of the other teams winning. They'll probably be left out of the match, but... Yeah, the Dudley boys, I can see easily winning. Everyone can, probably. But, yeah. Uh, Nick, then we got into get on to the main card. We have the uh, WWE Tag Team Championship match. The New Day, Big E and Kofi Kingston, and or Xavier Woods. Defending against the Osos. Uh... I think this could be a fun tag team match. I, I think it can. Um, but I don't see the Osos winning the title here. Uh, the New Day will probably retain. Uh, they'll probably keep it until uh, at least WrestleMania this year. But their match... Actually, maybe not even WrestleMania. I, they might even retain it at WrestleMania. Um, but they'll probably... They might lose that at Extreme Rules, maybe. But... We won't talk about WrestleMania just yet. Um, we'll be talking about this. See, New Day retains probably. I'll be surprised if the Usos win. Okay. Uh, next match, we have the last man standing match for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Dean Ambrose defending against Kevin Owens. This is the match that will most likely steal the show. They had really good matches uh, at the last two pay-per-views. Uh, and if they have another... And if they have a match again with the last man standing stipulation added, it's going to be awesome. I, I hope this match gets 25 minutes, honestly. Uh, I think it will be an excellent, excellent match if it was given that amount of time. But we'll see. And um, as to who wins, I do see Dean Ambrose winning. Uh, I hope he pummels Kevin Owens to a pulp. I think that would make it, like, a really believable win. Uh, nothing against Kevin Owens. I'm just saying that would make it a really believable win. Some say he, some say they should pull off an Extreme Rules 2010. Uh, maybe, like, have something where Kevin Owens can't get up, even if he can. That'd be funny. Uh, I, don't, I don't want that, personally. Some people say it could work, and it could. So, yeah. But... Not for me. Sorry, just not for me. But I do think it will be an awesome match. It will probably steal the show. So, yeah. 
Uh, and yes, I do see Dean Ambrose winning, like I said. Yes, yeah, so. uh, Next match, we have the WWE United States Championship match. Alberto Del Rio defending against Kalisto. This could be a solid match. I mean, uh, I actually haven't been watching Raw uh, at all for a while. Like, the last episode of Raw I watched was probably the one before Hell in a Cell last year. But, uh... I heard that these guys have been having great matches with each other, and with these two guys, I um I think they can. Okay, and I don't see Kalisto winning the title here. Honestly, um I think Alberto Del Rio will get the win, maybe with the help of the League of Nations, the recently formed faction, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I do think it could be a solid match. So yeah. Uh, next match we have the WWE Divas Championship match: Charlotte defending against Becky Lynch. Um, oh yeah, so yeah, Alberto Del Rio retains the US title, by the way, sorry. Uh, so yeah, Charlotte, Becky Lynch, um, even though it looks like Be it, everything has been aimed towards Becky Lynch to win the match, I hope she does, but you've got bloody Ric Flair at Charlotte's corner. He He's probably going to do a bunch of heel stuff to try and get Charlotte to win. This heel thing with Charlotte... And Ric Flair is pissing me off, honestly. Fucking cheaters. Uh, I do hope Becky Lynch wins. If not, hopefully Charlotte would lose it at WrestleMania. To uh, face women. Wrestling. If you know what I mean. So yeah. Could be a good match though. It probably will, especially since these two are NXT Divas. So yeah. Alright. Now we're going on to the main event. And the match that has sparked a whole lot of interest. With everyone. That is the 30 man Royal Rumble match for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Roman Reigns, uh, this isn't the first time that the WWE uh, Championship has been defended in the match itself. However, it is the first where the reigning champion is defending it in the Royal Rumble match. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, defending. Um, and honestly, the way you look at it, there's only three logical winners. Um, some say Roman Reigns, who'll be coming in at number one, will overcome the odds, win the match, and retain the title, heading into WrestleMania the champion. I honestly don't want to see that. I like Roman Reigns. I like him as champion right now. And he's on fire right now, but I just don't want to see that. I, I prefer to see him. I want him in the main event of this year's WrestleMania. It's just, you know, as the challenger. It just feels better if he's the challenger, um, but, yeah, it's either going to be Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar, who I'm hoping it's going to be, and Triple H, who hasn't been announced for it, for the, to be in the match, but it looks like he will be, because it, it really looks like they're going to do Roman Reigns versus Triple H, I'd prefer to see that match at Fast Lane and then have Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns main event WrestleMania. That's how I want it to be, honestly. Yeah, and speaking of Brock Lesnar, he is my pick to win this Royal Rumble match, okay? Uh, I, re I really hope Brock Lesnar wins the Royal Rumble here, guys. Um, th that will just be awesome. Uh, maybe Triple H, we don't know if he's even in the match or not. But I do think if Triple H does enter the Royal Rumble match, probably at number 30, it's going to be a pretty epic thing to see, even if we do see it coming, you know. And there's also rumors of debuts, such as, or in returns, like Daniel Bryan, which I don't think he'll be in the Rumble, but one can hope. But the biggest one of all, AJ Styles. If AJ Styles enters the Royal Rumble match, I will jizz in my pants. Legit. That will be the most epic thing to see. Just, man. Anyway. So, yep. Um. So, yeah. That, that's about it. So yep, that's, those are my Royal Rumble 2016 predictions, guys. Sorry if I rushed, rushed through this preview, guys. But, um, yeah, I really want to finish up this video now. I can't wait for uh, Royal Rumble tonight. 
it's gonna be awesome hopefully and hopefully please Brock Lesnar win the Royal Rumble and and uh, as a bonus to AJ Styles I hope you debut and WWE don't make the third mistake in a row okay do do something to surprise us okay do something to surprise us it's about interest in this match okay let's not leave let's not end this pay-per-view on a bad note eh let's just not huh so yeah so that's my double video guys Royal Rumble 2015 pay-per-view review I finally finished my Royal Rumble review series um, marathon and now I just did the Royal Rumble 2016 preview both in one video so yeah so yeah that's my video guys hope you enjoyed if you watched the whole thing which you probably did so please like comment subscribe and I'll see you all tonight for my review of the 2016 Royal Rumble pay-per-view with WWE fan 0599 peace out